Hi everyone, this is the fourth video of investment decision chapter and in the previous three videos we have seen the concept of this chapter and we have solved problem on these two techniques, right? The payback period and accounting rate of return. These two techniques of capital budgeting. We have seen those and we have also solved problems, right? So those techniques were non-discounting techniques. Now we are going to start the discounting techniques of capital budgeting, right? So in this video, what are we going to do is in this video, we are going to start with the net present value technique of capital budgeting, right? So let's start. Let's start and let's see how does this technique works and how to evaluate the project with these techniques. Okay. All right, then let's do it. Now let's try to understand this technique of capital budgeting net present value. See here, I have written the meaning over here, right? So let's go through that once. The NPV technique is a discounted cash flow method that considers time value of money in evaluating capital investments, right? So basically what here they are trying to say is that this technique, right, net present value, it is a technique where the cash flows, what cash flows, how much money will come in and how much money will go out due to that project which we are evaluating. We are evaluating the projects here, right? Different, different projects are there that the company wants to invest in and they want to evaluate those projects whether they are profitable or not, right? So to do that, this is one of the evaluation techniques, net present value, right? So in this technique, what happens is, in this technique, whatever cash flows will be there, inflow and outflow, those will be discounted, right? Now here the cash flows are based on estimates. They are not 100% true, no, they are estimates. If we invest in this project, this much cash flow would be there, right? This much outflow, this much inflow will be there. So those inflow and outflows, right, those will be discounted. Now, what do you mean by discounting of cash flows? We'll get to that, don't worry. So just understand that those cash flows will be discounted. And here, the most important thing is the time value of money. It's the same thing, it's interrelated, discounting and the time value of money. Time value of money. We have to understand these things, time value of money and discounting, right? So let's do that first and then we'll come back to this, okay? So you understood, right? What do we do here? Here, the cash flows are discounted. That's the main core of this technique of capital budgeting, net present value. That's all this is, okay? So we'll just see what is time value of money and what is this discounting that we are talking about, right? So let's do that first. Now, here's the time value of money. So let's understand the time value of money with this small scenario. So let me start by asking you one question, which is better to have 500 rupees today in your hand or to have the same 500 a year later in future? Tell me, which is better? 500 now or 500 a year later in future, which is better? Of course, now is better, right? Now is better. Why is that? Why now is better? Because, because the purchasing power of money falls down. As the time passes by, the purchasing power will fall down. Whatever you can purchase today with that 500 rupees, you wouldn't be able to purchase the same thing in future, right? With that 500, you wouldn't be able to do that because the purchasing power falls, inflation is there. There are lots of things, right? There's very much uncertainty, right? So that is why there is value of money and the value of money falls down as the time passes by. So that is why in financial management, what do we do is we always, okay, what we do is whenever we are going to receive anything in future, any money in future, what do we do is we discount that to present value, whatever future value, whatever money that we are going to receive in future, we discount that, we reduce that, we bring that to the present value, okay, that is what is discounting, fine. So that is it, that is the time value of money, due to time value of money, what will happen is we are going to discount our cash flows. Okay. So now let's see what is the discounting. Okay. Let's see that. Now here is discounting. See here. See discounting is nothing but converting the future value into present value. Okay. Let's take this example. The same 500 rupees, right? If we are supposed to receive 500 rupees a year later, then we want to know what is the value of this 500 rupees in today's terms. That is called discounting converting this future value into the present value, right? Present value is 455. But how did we get that, right? See, we discount using a discount factor, okay? And a rate, a percentage, right? So that person will be given to you in the question. Okay, don't worry, right? So this is what is we do. By using a certain rate, we discount the values. Fine. See here, the formula is nothing. The see here, 
present value is equal to future value into 1 divided by 1 plus r raised to power n okay so here r is nothing but a rate any rate cost of capital interest right it could be anything and then n is the number of years now here it is one year so the power is one so we don't have to take that right so 500 into 1 over right 1 by 1.10 1 plus r we have taken it as 10 percent okay just for an example so 1.10 if it was 11 percent 1.11 if it was 7 percent 1.07 like that so 500 yeah 500 into 1 divided by 1.10 that gives us the value 454.5 right so i have just rounded it off 455 right that's the value so this is how you discount okay you just apply this formula we'll see that in the detail while solving the problem don't worry it's very simple you just have to use the discounting factor and just multiply you will get the you will get the present value okay discounting is nothing but converting the future value to the present value by just using the discount factor and the percentage will be given to you you just have to multiply that's it all right okay then let's go back to the net present value now i'm sure you have got an idea about time value of money and discounting right so this is what is net present value we discount the cash flows right it's a method of calculating the present value of cash flows inflows and outflows of an investment proposal using the cost of capital so here we don't use interest rate and all we use cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital okay it will be given to you in the question don't worry the rate we use right to discount the cash flows as an appropriate discounting rate fine so now let's see the format of this NPV how do we go about it see here there are four columns that you have to remember right it's very simple year cash flows discounting factor and present value right so years right zero one two three now zero right zero would be the first day of the first year and then one two three these are the end okay end end of year one end of year two end of year three like that and then cash flows will be there but in the beginning there will be initial investment whatever money that you invested in in any project right that would be the initial investment all right so that would be negative okay because that is outflow and then the inflows would be there fine and then there will be discounting factors given to you in the question and then you're just gonna multiply you will get the present values add it all up right you will get the net present value and if net present value is greater than zero you accept the project right and if net present value is less than zero if it is negative then you reject the project right and if there are many projects then you will choose the project you will select the project which has the highest net present value right that is the basic idea of net present value right so now let's solve the problem and we're going to see how does this works practically right so okay then let's solve the problem now here is the question let's go through it once see here calculate npv of the two projects and suggest which of the two projects should be accepted assuming discount rate at 10 percent so here we have been given two projects project x and project y right so now here we have to suggest the management which project to go for and we are going to do that with the help of net present value this technique of capital budgeting right so here we have been given information of project x and project y see here initial investment of project x is 40,000 and then of project y is 60,000 and the estimated life of both the projects is same five years five years right right and then there is scrap value that is 2000 of project x and 4000 of project y the termination value the value which we are going to get at the end right the scrap value and then there is cash inflows see here the cash inflows of project x are 10,000 in one year one at the end of year one okay at the end of year one at the end of year two at the end of year three at the end of year four at the end of year five these are the cash inflows right 10,000 20,000 20,000 6,000 4,000 and of project y it's 40 20 10 6 4 like that so cash inflows are given now you know that these inflows are of future right these are estimates we are gonna get these cash inflows in future so we have to bring them to the present value they are future values we have to discount them to the present value so to do that we need discounting factors and discounting factors are given in the question you don't have to worry you just have to multiply the cash flows with the discounting factors and you will get the present value right that's how you do it 
right so now let's solve this problem okay now let's solve this problem see here now you know right you have to remember these four columns year cash flows discounting factor and then the present value right this is the format of net present value table now let's start with the project x see at first what you have to do is first you have to look for the initial investment what money are we going to invest right the outflow of cash that is what you have to see so in case of project x it is 40000 we are going to invest 40000 in project x so you have to take that first in the cash flow column but this is negative this is outflow of cash not inflow this is outflow the money is going out so you have to take that in negative okay cash flow 40000 negative and this is happening on the first day of the project that is the first day of the first year right that is year 0 we take that as year 0 so 40000 negative and then this is happening on the day one okay keep that in mind and then take all the years that are there five years right the project is of five years the estimated life of the project so take all that one two three four five fine and then they have said scrap value is two thousand right so scrap value is also in year five that is the last year we are gonna get scrap value at last and the last year is five so the scrap value will also be in the year five okay and then take all the cash flows whatever that is there right the inflows are 10,000 20,000 20,000 6,000 4,000 take all that 10 20 20 6 4 and then the scrap value also you have to take fine but these are future values isn't it only this is present value right 40,000 is now today but these are future values so you have to discount them to the present value so how are you going to do that with the help of the discounting factor at 10 percent and the discounting factors are already given in the question right of every years see here year 1 0 0.909 year 2 0 0.826 year 3 0 0.751 year 4 0 0.683 year 5 0 0.621 you just have to copy them down right just take them down 0 0.909 of first year 0 0.826 of second year 0 0.751 third year like that and then at last for scrap value also you have to take the discounting factor of the fifth year because this is happening in the year five right at the end of year five so you have to take that okay and all these are happening at the end of year like year four like that okay at the end of the year fine so these are the discounting factor you just have to multiply them you will get the present value right but one thing you have to remember is that this initial investment is happening on the day one no time has been passed so you cannot use any discounting factor there you just have to multiply it by one okay because the value of 40,000 today is 40,000 right the value of 10,000 after a year would be 9,090 but the value of 10,000 today if I ask you it is 10,000 so the money which you are investing today 40,000 negative is today it's 40,000 only that is why you have to multiply it by one only okay not any decimals right okay so once you multiply I'm just gonna show you one see here this one let's see this one 20,000 into 0 0.826 yeah 20,000 into 0 0.826 that gives you 16520 see this is how you do it simply just multiply you will get all the present values then you have to add up all the present values you will get the net present value right let's see first start with the negative figure minus 40,000 plus 9090 plus 16520 plus 15020 plus 4098 plus 2484 plus 1242 that gives you 8454 right 8454 that is the net present value see this is how you do it simple right now let's do project y now let's do project y see here it's so simple the same thing you have to repeat right see here initial investment is 60,000 you have to take that in negative right and this is happening on the day one that is year zero take down all the years five years is the life so one two three four five and scrap value that will also happen in the at the end of year five so take that right and take down all the cash inflows that are there see here project y 40 20 10 6 4 40 20 10 6 4 and then the scrap value also you have to take right the scrap value right so that is it right and then the discounting factor here also you have to use the same discounting factor at 10% and this is happening on the day one itself 
so it will be multiplied by one okay it will not be discounted right so that would be minus sixty thousand and we are using this negative because this is an outflow right so you take down all the discounting factor that are there here all the discounting factors take them down multiply that you will get the present value and add up all of these you will get the net present value let's add okay simple right it's the same thing it's very simple start with the negative right minus 60,000 plus 36,360 plus 16,520 plus 7,510 plus 4,098 plus 2,484 plus 24 sorry 2,484 that gives you 9456 that is the net present value right it's so simple right so this is how you do it you just multiply the cash flows with the discounting factor you will get the present value but now the main question arises what if in the question discounting factors are not given don't worry it's very simple if the discounting factors are not given in the question all you have to do is you have to make use of that formula what formula the simple formula see here all you have to do is you just have to take 1 divided by 1 plus r right this is what you have to do okay and then there will be power n that's the number of years but how do we do that in this calculator see it's very simple let's say the discounting factors were not given in the question okay so all you have to do is 1 divided by the rate is given as 10 percent right so that is the rate okay so what you have to do is divide by okay see here divide by 1.10 okay 1 divided by 1.10 if it was 7 percent 1 divided by 1.07 if it was 6 percent 1 divided by 1.06 like that okay so what i did 1 divided by 1.10 is equal to 0 0.909 take three decimals right again equal to 0 0.826 right that's the second year equal to 0 0.751 that's the third year equal to 0 0.683 that's the fourth year equal to 0 0.620 that's the fifth year again if you want if the project is of seven years equal to sixth year equal to seventh year like that it's very simple all you have to do is one divided by 1.10 equal to after one year equal to after two year equal to after three year okay like this you have to do it right if it is not given the discounting factors are not given you don't have to worry it's a simple thing okay to do in the calculator right so this is how you do it right always remember you have to take the initial investment here only okay it's very easy now in some books what they have done is they take the initial investment over here and then they subtract that okay don't do like that do this way it's very simple okay right okay then see you in the next video oh i totally forgot to tell you the most important thing see here they have asked us which project would you suggest to the management that should be accepted right so we will select the project which has the highest net present value so tell me which has the highest net present value this is the project y 9456 is the present value of project y and of project x the present value is 8454 so the highest is of project y so you will tell to the management that we have to go for project y right that's it okay then all right